Hi, I'm Bill and welcome to our channel. Uh, Lori's inside uh, starting to per prep uh, for tonight's meal uh, that we're going to cook out here using the uh, Uni Kota 16 uh, outdoor pizza oven. Uh, but I thought I'd take a moment to share with any viewers that are interested what I'm doing as far as a stand uh, for our Kota 16. I see a lot of beautiful tables and everything out there. Uh, clearly, we needed something to uh, place our um, coda on. Uh, we were using a picnic table before. So I happen to have a U-line rack. Uh, we got these several years ago from Costco, and I was using them for storage in the garage. So I decided to uh, use this as a starting point. Um, I watched uh, and had a conversation with Jeff Gatto. If you haven't seen his uh, channel, he's got some really good uni related content. And he kind of uh, told me what I needed to have as far as uh, width and uh, depth uh, to support the uh, Dakota 16, which is uh, 24 by 24. Uh, so I had to cut a piece of wood. Um, uh, so it's just kind of clamped in place right now. If we find that the function of this is what we want, then we'll probably make this more permanent. Um, what I like about this rack, though, is that I can roll it in and out of the garage. And I was wondering how to keep it secure in the backyard. Uh, like, nobody's tried to steal my Weber so far, so I don't know why I was concerned with the, the Coda 16, but it is a little bit more portable. And for me, this is a solution where I can just wheel it in and out of the garage. And this is the station where we have it when we're doing the cooking. Um, and uh, another thing I like about it is I can have uh, two propane bottles on the bottom. I always like to have a spare uh, when I'm doing some cooking. And uh, then there's several racks here. And um, I don't know if you saw our uh, stuffed mushroom uh, uh, video yet, but uh, we have that up there. And what Lori likes is you got these shelves here and she can have like a tray with plates so when we plate the food uh, we can move the uh, grizzler plate or the cast iron skillet up or down uh, as part of the cooking process. So we really like that. And then it's a great place to hold uh, the uh, turning peel and, uh, and the uh, brush to uh, clean the stone. So really, this is kind of a prototype, and uh, thank you to a viewer uh, and subscriber, RBIV25, who put us on to uh, raising up the height of the oven so it's a little bit more at eye level. So for Lori, it's pretty much now at eye level. She's uh, 4'11". Me at 6 foot, i got to bend down a little bit, but uh, not as much as before. So it's clearly not a beauty or anything, but it's highly functional and it's a solution that's working for us. So I would thought I'd just share it with you uh, so you could get some ideas on my, what you might want to do. Um, but I do see a lot of beautiful tables out there, some stainless steel, some wood. They lo really look great in the settings that you have them in and you're on your patio or in your garden area. But uh, this is what we're using, kind of you know, function is what's most important to us, and this seems to be working out. So, uh, in a little bit, we're going to be out here. Lori's going to be making Singaporean chili shrimp with noodles. Uh, we're going to use the Coda 16, we're going to use the Grizzler plate, and we're going to use the cast iron skillet pan. So, we're looking forward to putting that uh, together. And then uh, we may tonight uh, do a dessert with pineapple and ice cream. Uh, we'll see the, how that goes, and uh, I'm also going to put up a uh, short video on how I clean the stone. There's a lot of questions I see on what's the right way to clean the stone. I'm going to show you what we do. It may not be what you do, uh, but it's working out okay for us. So anyway, uh, thank you for checking out this channel. If you like this kind of content, uh, please subscribe. Uh, other than that, uh, see ya. Thanks.